What are you making? Well, I am making a com. It's kind of like a paella, come jambalaya, come Maya liar. <laughs> Maya liar. Maya liar. What's that? <laughs> Hang on. Um, so those just chicken thighs. Yeah, these are just some chicken thighs marinated. You know, if I always put my seasoning in at the bottom of the pan, mm -hmm. that way, as you can see when I turn it, the seasoning has actually taken. Right, because I want that seasoning to go right through. Okay, so would you recommend non-professionals use a spatula and not uh, yeah. and not for your yeah, yeah, my fingers, hands. <laughs> fingers in the pan? And that's a bit of ginger mm -hmm. and then some putting in some onions and I'm gonna put some garlic. Fresh garlic. Fresh garlic, yeah. I'm just gonna put a little bit of fresh garlic in as well. And I'm going to add some prawns to this, some rice, and some mixed vegetables. Okay, so the prawns cooked or are they raw? The raw. So when would you add them? Not until the very end. Okay. The very end, because that's the last thing. Because if you put them in too soon, they'll go all rubbery. Right. I don't want no dang old rubber. Rubber and how, prawns! How long did you marinate the chicken for? Uh, well, this one, to be honest, is a really quick one. Mm -hmm. I would have not marinated it, like, overnight, if mm -hmm. possible. But as I had a training session today... Um, and I've only just got in, and the foster child will be here in half an hour. I knew I need to get busy, so, so I've just grabbed it. So, so what marinade? What did you use to so marinade? It's, it's only, I mean, I use, I've got this fabulous, this is a Polish. Oh, I seasoning. saw that at Lidl. Fantastic. Is it good? Okay. Excellent. It's got really good flavor. Uh-huh. And then I've got some paprika, uh -huh. salt, pepper. I've got some of my pink fancy salt. <laughs> um... I put so, it. So, how much oil in the bottom of the pan? Uh, hardly any. Minimal. Because I'm going to, the oil, as you can see, yeah. what you're seeing coming out, if that's coming from the chicken. Okay. And look at that coloring from all the seasoning. Okay. Yes. And I've got it on really low. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm going to basically cover this and let that just cook. Let the chicken shake it up. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just let the chicken do its thing. Okay, how I'm long will that, that need to... I'm going to leave that for about 10 minutes before I even come back to it, before I add the rice, um, the prawns, and all of the vegetables. So you're going to add all of that stuff to the pan? To the pan. It's okay. going to go straight in the pan. It's going to go straight in. So, it, like I said, it'll look like a jambalaya. It'll look like a paella. But it's a maella, maella. <laughs> so I'm just going to add a few chopped chilies there. Have you added anything else? Yeah, yeah, and some green and red, um, green, red, and yellow peppers I've put in. Okay. Now I'm going to add my rice directly to the center. What type of rice is that? That's just American Easy Cook. Okay. I'm going to add some turmeric. Mm -hmm. Just to give it some coloring. Mm -hmm. Okay. Give that a stir. Try and mix those juices. Coat all of the rice. Look how the rice is getting coated very quickly. No additional oil or anything. Then straight to that, I'm going to add, all this is, is mixed veg. Oh, frozen, frozen mixed veg. Frozen mixed veg. Okay. Throw that in. And then I'm going to add just some water. Oh, wait my sink. Huh? <laughs> okay. How much water? I did about a cup, but I'm going to put two so just, cups. Is it enough to cover, just... It's literally, literally just enough to cover it. Okay. And now I'm going to give that a stir. And now we'll mix it right up. Now, how long had the chicken been cooking before you the, added all well, the rest of the stuff? Well, this chicken had been cooking for about 15 minutes. Okay. And it's going to take about another 25 minutes mm -hmm. for this entire dish to be finished. And by then, the chicken will have cooked. Okay. And the very last thing I'm going to add are my frozen prawns. Okay, so you're going to add them now? No. Oh, no, no, at the end. I'm going to add those once the water has reduced a bit, then I'll okay. add the prawns. Okay, and what kind of heat is it on? It's on it's... a medium. Okay. Just on a medium okay. low heat. All right. But I'm going to turn it up mm -hmm. just so that it... I'm going to turn it up, wait till I see it kind of come to a boil, mm -hmm. like a simmer. Yeah. And then I know it's working its way. Cool. And then I'm going to turn it down, and then that should be plenty. Okay. You wait and see. How many would that, I mean, how many thighs have you got in there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven. So if, if you ain't greedy, seven people. Okay. 
If you like us, three people. <laughs> and if you're super greedy, a family of two. <laughs> but no, that'll go. Okay. But I always do extra because then, because Phil works, uh -huh. so he likes to take in proper cooked food. For his lunches. For his lunch. Cool, okay. So he's got it for lunch. Yeah. All right. That's it. Cool. All right, so we're just going to let that cool. All right. All right. Okay, so come over to the pot. Have a look at that. So you can see it's, the rice is starting to build up. Mm -hmm. And that was only a cup of rice mm -hmm. and the vegetables. So to this, I'm now going to add some coriander or cilantro. 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 <laughs> I think that's what they call it in America. And, and because that's just looking a little bit too yellowy for me and I'm not greenery, I'm going to add some broccoli. Is that fresh or fresh, frozen? Fresh broccoli. Yeah. And some fresh cut up cherry tomatoes. Okay. We're going to add that. Wait a minute. Let me rinse that. And then on top of that... Mm-hmm. Add the and those are frozen raw, yeah? They're just frozen and they're raw. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to basically just cover that. Put the lid back on. Put the okay. lid back on and just let that turn the heat down a bit more. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to let that cook for about... Oh, let me just show you. The reason I added it is because I took my knife. Yeah. And my knife was able to kind of just go through the chicken. Quite easily. It's quite easily. I mean, it's still got a little bit of resistance, which means it's not quite ready. Okay. But it's nearly there. So, let's get this. And then we're just going to cover that over. And okay. just let that cook down. Okay. It'll take about another 10, 20 minutes. Okay. Tops. Okay. Give it a shake. Shake. Okay, now this is the stage it's come to. Look at the prawns. You can see how the prawns have started to cook. They're going in nice and pink. It kept the color. I put the broccoli in later because I wanted to retain its color. Look at this. You can see the rice. It's picking up. Mm, yeah, getting soft. Lovely jubbly. Tomatoes give it a lovely color. It's almost there. Um, it's really just about making sure the chicken is cooked all the way through. So I'm going to cover that up again and just leave that to simmer. We're nearly there. Jambalaya. Here we go. <laughs> Now, um, my foster child doesn't eat pork, so what I've done now is I've removed, as you can see, about a third of the dish, put it into a different pan, and letting that continue to cook for him. But I love me some pork! <laughs> so, I'm going to, at this stage, add some sausage, some chorizo. This is a Spanish-style Okay. Sausage. Is that already cooked or does it need cooking? It's it's one of the ones that's already cooked, okay. so I, it can go in at the last minute. All right. So I'm just going to add this because just so we can get that flavor through. And give it a little stir. Now another thing you need to check, this is how you know when you're getting to the end. When the, when the meat comes away from the bone. Alright, now y'all don't do this at home because I'm doing it myself. <laughs> Alright, so you see how the meat can just come right away from that bone. Okay, clear, clear. It's cool. So that chicken is ready. Mm -hmm. And now we're just going to let the flavor of the chorizo cook through. And then we have a jambalaya. <laughs> Woohoo! So that's done. That's done. It's ready to go. Cool. It's just literally, we just want that to soften up a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, and that's ready to cook. And his is ready to cook. Cook or serve? Now serve. <laughs> um, because you can see, look at that. Look how that the meat just comes yeah. away. Yeah. It's very good. Because you don't want to be serving up no raw chicken or nobody. 